Today I received the invitation from Mercedes to launch their electric car in Pune. I am, I am supporting all the people who are making some new invention, new research, new products related with the alternative fuel. I always very much supporting. Uh, today I have a meeting with the LG of Ladakh and Leh. And I was telling him that that funicular railway we can make there. So we have now decided to take the some of the projects there by using funicular railway. The LNG truck covers distance of 1,400 kilometer, and as compared with diesel, the cost of saving is 40 percent. 50 percent. First of all, we are trying for lithium-ion battery, but now we have sodium ion, zinc ion, aluminum ion, the latest new technology, aluminum ion technology. In this month, 28, I am going to launch the Toyota flex engine car in Delhi. I know that we are facing the problem because of semiconductors. Just three months before, I was meeting with the chairman of Intel. And at that time, I gave all this data to him. So he was very much convinced. And the government is giving a lot of new schemes by which we want to increase the production of these all semiconductors in the country. This is also a challenging field. The logistic cost in China is 8 to 10 percent. The logistic cost in European countries is 10 to 12 percent. And logistic cost in India is 15 to 16 percent. That is a big problem. So my idea is to reduce the logistic cost up to 10 percent within two years because we are making 27 green express lines. Today I received the invitation from Mercedes to launch their electric car in Pune. I am, I am supporting all the people who are making some new invention, new research, new products related with the alternative fuel. I am always very much supporting for that. So this is the time. The LNG truck manufacturing plant in Pune, in single, single field, the LNG truck covers distance of 1,400 kilometer. And as compared with diesel, the cost of saving is 40%. 50%, 50%. So this is going to reduce the logistic cost because the LNG is the fuel for the future. And now we are successfully making LNG from rice straw, Parali. We have a very good plant in Panipat, it's already started by Indian oil. And they are making 150 ton of bio vitamin per day from rice straw and 1 lakh liter of bio ethanol. And we have now many plants in the process because I'm in agriculture. We are making Bio CNG and bio LNG from rice straw. So it can be possible. 5 ton of perli is giving 1 ton of bio CNG. So the future is for alternative fuel. And the last request to all of you, you should give more concentration on green hydrogen. The rate of hydrogen per $1 per 1 kg. And that gives 450 kilometer of average. Already I have hydrogen car given by Toyota. The name of the car is Mirai. In Japanese, the Mirai word means future. So I feel that you should go and you should concentrate on making of green hydrogen. That is to be a very attractive field. It's economically viable. I'm not a consultant, neither I'm a scientist or an engineer. But I am telling you that the making of green hydrogen is a future. And you can think on that line with the same automobile industry by using waste water and solid organic waste, by making it green hydrogen, it is really a future for the country. And probably even India also that lot of people are developing new technology. For example, just taking the example of the battery chemistry. First of all, we are trying for lithium ion battery, but now we have sodium ion, zinc ion, aluminum ion, the latest new technology, aluminum ion technology. And uh, India is the country where we have got the highest young talented engineering manpower is available in India. And there are a lot of startup. Just eight days before I was in Bangalore, we have given order uh, awards to the new startup for our new innovation and their new research. So I feel that your industry, your association, you should have one of the important research and development laboratory, already ARI is there. But only for auto components, you can open an institution where the research will be equivalent to international standards. By using different material and different technology, that is the future. So technology is very important. You can take the example from Japan. 
all over the world the technology the well technology is well recognized and now it can be possible that just like brazil canada and usa we are now i am appealing every time to the atmal industry to start flex engine in india in this month 28 i am going to launch the toyota flex engine car in delhi so my request to all manufacturer that even the two wheeler also maximum our leading two wheeler manufacturers are exporting their 50% of the production to abroad and now they have the models they have on flex engine so ethanol rate is 60 rupees per liter and petrol rate is 120 rupees per liter you just understand what the economics is and ethanol is green fuel and at the same time i am former that the reason that i know what are the problem we are facing in agriculture sector we have rice surplus corn surplus wheat surplus and sugar surplus actually our need for sugar is 280 lakh ton of sugar and last year our production was 340 lakh ton of sugar and the previous year stock was 60 lakh ton so that was a big problem but because of drought in brazil for this year we have make the export of 120 lakh ton but now the sugar cane is a solid crop where the farmers are getting benefit from that so it is in you go to uttar pradesh everywhere to bihar now to karnataka tamil nadu maharashtra the sugar cane production is increased and it is the need of the country is now to convert sugar into bioethanol the future of the electric buses and electric cars and electric bikes you know that because presently every time demand is going to increase regarding only one request to all of you regarding major export items suspension and braking system 51% rise body and chassis parts 42% rise interiors non electronics 37% rise i know that we are facing the problem because of semiconductors just three months before i was meeting with the chairman of intel and at that time i gave all this data to him so he was very much convinced and the government is giving lot of new schemes by which we want to increase the production of these all semiconductors in the country this is also a challenging field if you want to make india atmanirbhar bharat the first important thing is we need to increase our export and we need to reduce our imports and for that reason i request all of you that you should plan in the way that it will really your initiative uh, will be useful for the development of the country because of unfortunate accident of cyrus mistry we are all all people are very much disturbed now the road safety is the highest agenda for all of us for making of bharat ncap star rating in vehicles now developing bharat ncap new car assessment program to make indian cars at par with the global standards in safety aspects majority of the automobile manufacturer in india they are exporting car with six airbags <laughs> but in india because of economic model because of cost they are hesitating i just asked a simple question you are not thinking about the life of a poor person who using economic car actually in india we have 5 lakhs accidents 1 lakh 50000 deaths really it is a very very i feel it painful for all of us that the total death the age group is of 60% of people are age group of 18 to 34 this is very bad i will request to all of you that how we can reduce the accidents where we need your cooperation and automobile industry create healthy competition among automobile companies to develop safer vehicles uh, today i have a meeting with the lg of ladakh and leh and i was telling him that that funicular railway we can make there so we have now decided to take the some of the projects there by using funicular railway so the indian technology is available my request to all of you this is a force this is a sector where the huge economic potential is there by using your same machinery you can make the components of all this ropeway cable car funicular railway somewhere you need to have a, some technical support by which you can develop this business so my request is again just uh, one month or two month before i launch double decker electric bus in mumbai then a, a luxury coach with a electric luxury coach in mumbai 
So there is a huge potential, just like city Bangalore, Calcutta, Mumbai, Chennai, Delhi. Well, now we want to discourage the people who are using cars. I am not against your industry, but this is also a big problem. The population growth and automobile growth in India is good for you, good for the country, good for the revenue, good for the employment. But it is again a get big problem that how it is possible for us to increase the road width and length. You take an example going by this uh, from hotel, the road is going to Gurgaon. This at 6 o'clock, 1,50,000 PCUs. Now we have taken a decision to making two, three tire flyovers. In Chennai we are making flyover, uh, eight lane road, then flyover, first layer, then second layer flyover, then third layer is metro. We are making in Pune also. But at the same time, there are a lot of limitations. The first important challenge with the country is how we are going to reduce our logistic cost. The logistic cost in China is 8 to 10 percent. The logistic cost in European countries is 10 to 12 percent. And logistic cost in India is 15 to 16 percent. That is a big problem. And that is one of the reasons that our exports are facing crucial problem in the international competition. So my idea is to reduce the logistic cost up to 10% within two years because we are making 27 green express highway. So this can be a good thing for the automobile industry because this is going to increase your sale. But at the same time, you have to take some preventive measure as far as the road safety is concerned. So electric vehicle, particularly two-wheeler, very popular. I feel that the cost of lithium and battery day by day, it is going to be reduced and the day will come within two years. I am expecting that the cost of petrol, two-wheeler and uh, electric vehicle will be same. At the same time, electric car is very popular. Electric buses are very popular. In the government, we have just received the tender of electric buses. Non-AC bus, the cost was coming 39 rupees per kilometer and AC bus for 41 rupees per kilometer. Now in the best, they have diesel buses, their running cost is 115 rupees per kilometer. So you can just understand that the way in which because of electric, the pollution is also a big concern.